So you are one of the people that put this event together. You've got to tell me all about Art of Motion. Okay. Well, I am, uh, I am a co-founder of the World Free Running Parkour Federation. That's the WFBF. And we're, we've become sort of the governing body of the sport. Uh, we, about five years ago, went to the leading athletes in the sport around the world, brought them together and, and uh, uh, trying to bring the teams of the world together under our auspices. Uh, but the Art of Motion is an event that's been going on for about three years now. It started in Vienna, Austria. It's Red Bull sponsored it. Really, was the first free-running parkour uh, competition in the world. And now that's something new. I mean, to me, what is parkour? Parkour, strictly defined, is the art of going from point A to point B as efficiently and creatively as possible. And um, you chose Central Ybor, well actually Ybor City, as your first city in the United States to do this event. I mean, why did you choose Ybor City, which we are so happy that you did? Well, I think uh, I, Red Bull really chose it, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a very friendly city to Red, uh, to Red Bull. They had a lot, of, a lot of fans here, and they do some other events down here, so they know that the, the fans come out. And that there's a pretty strong parkour community down here, so we wanted to involve, we involved a lot of the local athletes, one of actually... Um, my partner and I, David Thompson, we produced the, there was a show, a parkour show on MTV this summer called Ultimate Parkour Challenge, and we were the exec two of the executive producers on that show. And one of our competitors, one of the stars of that show is from Tampa, and that's Daniel Arroyo, who's one of the judges today. Wow, well, we definitely want to go and talk to Daniel. Yes. Now you're going to Boston next, correct? Right. Next Friday we're going to Boston. So we'll have really a lot of Northeastern athletes competing there, as well as some of the European uh, champs, because that's we brought the European champs here to see how the American guys matched up against them, and, and the, all the American guys really did well, really, really, you know, did us all proud. Now, um, there's 20 um, athletes, and most of them are American, correct? Most of them here, yeah, that was what we wanted. We, even though it's a, um, up to now, it's been mostly a European sport, a lot of, a lot of South Americans, a lot of Australians, but it's just been growing really in the United States in the last couple of years, and we wanted both these events to be primarily Americans, to really give a chance for the, for the sport here to grow and create some hometown heroes. So tell me, you're in Ybor City today, on Friday you're going to Boston, I mean, what is after that? After that, I, I hear there are going to be more live events, there may be more automotions motions here in the U.S. Uh, the WFBF, we do tours around the country to spread the sport. We're also involved in a fitness movement where we, uh, we teach the sport, we, we partner with gyms around the country and around the world to help teach the sport safely and, and, uh, and uh, respectfully because there is a philosophy behind parkour and it, uh, our, our motto is no obstacles, no freedom, which is basically K-N-O-W obstacles. So to know obstacles is to know freedom. And the idea of parkour is that by overcoming obstacles, physical obstacles, you learn how to overcome other obstacles in your life as well. So it really is more of a philosophical. It is. It's like it's in many ways like a martial art, and that it has a real sort of discipline and philosophy. People oftentimes see this as being just reckless, but once you get to know these guys in the sport, you see they're they're very respectful of what they do. They don't. It's not jackass. They don't just throw themselves off rooftops. Well, I certainly don't believe in obstacles. I believe in a really, really good challenge. If you're going to go ahead and take this mainstream, does that mean that I can learn how to bounce off the walls here in Central Ebor? Absolutely. We actually did. A, um, we, we were at the fitness convention, the Idea Convention in Los Angeles, which is the biggest fitness convention in the world, and we had a hundred adults, median age 35, doing parkour in a class. Now, wow. obviously, they weren't doing leaps like this, but you don't have to. That's not what parkour is about. It's about moving. It's about starting to reclaim what we all had as kids, the, 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 the willingness to move freely and have fun. Well, I think I'm going to invite you back from a year from now so you can watch me as I go ahead and remove all the obstacles in my, <laughs> my life. You are out of breath. I'm out of breath just watching you guys. Very tiring. Very tiring. How old are you? 18. My goodness, you are, you guys are incredible, and you're from Tampa. Yeah, I'm a local. Now, are you traveling all over with the no. team? No, just here. Uh -huh. It was the first competition. I liked it. It was awesome. I was very pumped, excited, and just tried to do my best and didn't want to fall. Accomplished everything I wanted to do, so I'm happy. This is your first competition? Yeah. 
Wow. Well, congratulations. <laughs> and you. you know what? We're going to be looking for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck. Very nice meeting you. Very nice meeting Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I love my job. Not only do I get to interview the athletes, then I get to interview the really, really important people, the judges. They're the ones who says who makes it or breaks it. Is that right? Yeah, it's, a, it's a hard decisions. <laughs> um, I'm Veronica. Uh, I'm Daniel Arroyo. I'm Tim Sheaf from England. Oh, that accent. Do you know Ybor City? We have some great English pubs that you have to go to. I want to go to English pub tonight. I think this is my last night in Tampa before I'm, I'm traveling again, but yeah, I'm definitely up for that. Well, we're going to the Dirty Shame later, and they have the best beer selection, so you have to go. Is it English? It's whatever you want it to be. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So tell me, this is the first event like this that I've ever been to, and what is it like to be judged? I'm going to ask you first, because you're from England, and you guys probably do this all the time. I mean, this is my first time judging. I've been in a lot of these competitions, though, so I know how they're all feeling. Uh, I'm trying to do it as fairly as possible, how I feel when I'm doing the competition in the past. I always thought, how would I judge it? And that's what I'm applying here today. So, like, what, what's the point system? How many points? I'm personally judging for difficulty, technical difficulty, and it's out of 25. And then Daniel here is doing flow, which is out of 25 again. Um, and we're each just trying to focus when we're watching each run on just that one thing that they're doing. So you're doing flow. How are you marking your flow? I'm, I'm marking my flow, how, how they connect their moves, if they do a front flip, if they roll out of it and continue to go, or if they're going to stop and then wait and then and think about the next move. I'm going to mark them down for it, unfortunately, because that's not that's, that's not what flow is about. So if they keep if they keep moving and keep going, then, then they're going to get some points for it. I can definitely tell he's going to the um, Irish pub or English pub tonight. You're coming with me to the dance clubs because you're all about yeah. flow, right? Yep, I'm local, so <laughs> take me. I know where to go. So the other thing is, what happens if you fall? I mean, do you deduct points for falling? Um, I would like to say that uh, S Solomon, Solomon's the one that judges like falling and execution. But I, I know he was telling me earlier that what, if you fall, it's it's about how you fall. You, you could fall controlled, and if you if you illustrate that you're falling and you're controlling it, then he's not going to mark you off too bad for it. But if you fall, like just blatantly fall, then he's going to mark you off for it. So. so in other words, if you're out dancing and you slip on the dance floor, but you pick yourself up right away, you're not, not going to get marked. Mark. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're pretty lenient. So, you know. so what happens if there's blood? Do you go ahead? and get extra points that must be you yeah, well, I'm doing difficulty so they can if they even if they break an arm I still get my high score if they try something crazy so for me they still get a high score I'm sure it'd kill their flow though so kill their flow and it'll kill their execution so we'll, we'll be the ones to mark them down me and Solomon so um, what is like the most like unbelievable act is it like going 30 feet up in the air it, it's how accurate they're doing everything they do takes them like is like hand eye foot eye coordination you see so it's how, how, how fast you think they're doing it when they're spinning and they only see the floor at the last second. It's like really how quick they're doing that kind of thing. I just got dizzy just listening to you. Okay, so we are going to see you guys after and I'm going to let you guys go back to judging.